Greetings everybody, John Tarr here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to join the Mound Maker's Covenant, how to rescue the first Pyromancer who's gonna sell you a bunch of spells, and how to rescue the first Miracle. Um, she's a blind lady that sells you miracles. And they're all very early in the game, and they're all very early to miss. So from the Undead Settlement Bonfire, I'm gonna show you how to join the Mound Makers first, because this is the only one that is kind of time sensitive meaning that like if you have already killed uh the first uh the giant tree boss that's all i'll say if you've killed him then you can't join the mound makers it's dependent on that so we're gonna run through the building you probably recognize this big pyre here and we're gonna make our way to the right across this bridge Go to the right, these guys. Whoa. And up this little path on the right here. This ladder. And then you're gonna see that when you when you're up on this roof, you're gonna see that guy patrolling down below. He looks like an enemy, but he's actually friendly. So do not attack him. If you attack him, he'll attack back. But to join the Mound Makers, what you want to do is walk up to him. When you get close, you'll see this examine option pop up when you're close enough to his cage. And as you can see, you can just walk right in front of him. He won't attack you. He's a cool dude. Pretty cool dude. So press examine. It's going to trigger a little cutscene. He's actually going to carry you to the Mound Makers Covenant. Eventually, after the cutscene, you're going to load down in this lower area, which, if you already killed the giant tree boss, uh, the curse rod of Greatwood, then you will recognize this area. Uh, here's the guy you want to talk to to join the Covenant. He'll give you a special item, this little item right here. The Mound Makers are an invasion covenant. They are a great PvP covenant. I've been enjoy enjoying them a lot. And um, this is the sacrificial altar right here, where you can offer the vertebrae vertebra shackles to deepen your allegiance. So now we are on, now I'm gonna show you how to rescue the first pyromancer. So now we're back to the undead settlement bonfire. This is the one we just spawned at a minute ago. Um, oh, there was a purple sign here just a minute ago. The purple, if you see a purple summon sign, so this one's white, um, uh, the, oh, here we go. Uh, these are mound makers and these guys basically, if you wanna summon a mad phantom, uh, the way the Mound Makers work is the Mad Phantoms, When, if, if you're a Mound Maker and you get summoned into someone's game, then you uh, have to react to the enemies because the enemies are going to react to you. It's, it's not like a traditional invasion where the enemies completely ignore you. Uh, and to get out of there and successfully get one of those vertebra shackles, you need to kill uh, the host or someone else that the host has summoned and then you'll return home successfully. So now we're gonna get uh, rescue the first Pyromancer. It's in a very similar area. Oops, we're gonna make our way across this bridge and you can actually see the Pyromancer. Uh, he's in that, whoa, he's in that cage. Oh God, please don't fall. He's hanging in that cage up there. So to get there, oh, don't be by those barrels when they're throwing the explosive stuff. You can see a little path down below. You want to fall down to this path, run into this little secret bonfire here, and rest just for the sake of getting the bonfire that you can teleport to later on. Make your way out the back door, back up onto the roof, and pass those three guys that were just throwing firebombs at you. Now, now we're gonna talk to the pyromancer. Blah, 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 pyro, 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 ask to learn pyromancy, and he's gonna teleport back to the Firelink Shrine. Now, I'm gonna show you how to rescue the first uh, miracle selling lady who is not far from here as well. Actually, almost directly below me. So the first step is go to the dilapidated bridge bonfire. 
Uh, there is a slightly easier way of doing this, but it's pretty easy to rescue her this way anyway, so I'm not going to uh, ask you to have the, the spell that, <laughs> that reduces fall damage. Now we're going to the area... Um, oh, I, well, I already talked to the giant that normally throws these giant spears. You probably recognize this area. Uh, we make our way to the left. Back over here between these houses and I, be oh, so I believe that there's an item right here on this dead body that is a bunch of armor and then I believe the item that you need is right where I'm standing right now if it's not where, right where I am right now it's around the corner over here anyway it's a little item called the mortician's ashes and when you pick up that item we're gonna return to the shrine bonfire and give it to the merchant so now we're back in firelink shrine with the mortician's ashes talk to this old lady here and if you just picked up that item there's going to be a new menu option here that says give uh, umbral ashes I believe you give her the ashes and she's going to have new items for sale if you go over to the keys she now has this grave key for sale so buy that from her for 1500 and we're going to teleport back so now we're back at the cliff underside thing about cliff huxtable's underside right now as he's teabagging you, as he's been drugging you. Weird. Um, so we're gonna run down these stairs. See that bridge, probably seen a hundred times. Ignore those enemies. We're gonna go in this little cove on the right. Drop down. There should be a couple rats over here. One giant rat in that fog. I'm gonna go ahead and kill just so I can take my time to explain. Um, Oh, I'm not going to trigger them. Okay, so in the fog there's a ladder. I would recommend going up there first because there's a door that you can open from that side that's kind of a, a shortcut to the other bonfire. And this is where you use the grave key. Now, to the right, after you use the grave key, is the statue of Velka. Now, what this statue does is if you accidentally attack an NPC and they're pissed off at you, you can go talk to her and request absolution and I believe for a fee she will basically uh, make you whole again so that the NPC that you need to talk to or whatever will be friendly so we're gonna run past all the enemies and all the skeletons in the grave here All right, so once you get out into the water here, as you can see, we are directly below that bridge that we were just looking at a second ago. And there's a couple items and some uh, Titanite bugs and stuff like that. What we want to do is go the other direction, run under this, uh, into this like kind of rock quarry. Over here, look at my blood stain because I got gang banged by a bunch of rats down here. Climb up this ladder and sprint up the ladder quickly, hopefully. And then over here on the left is the Miracle Lady. Talk to her a couple times and touch her. Not bad touch, good touch. Yes, you're there. Aww. She gives you a gesture. Ask for her service. And now she will be back at the Firelink Shrine. Now, if you want, uh, this dude right here guarding her, we talk to him, and he says that he's actually protecting her. And uh, at some point, he will actually end up back in Firelink Shrine. I don't know his complete quest line yet, but you can kill him for some pretty good, very high strength items. So let's go back to Firelink Shrine. So now we're back at Firelink Shrine. I'll show you where the Pyromancer and the Miracle Lady are hanging out. Pyro is down to the right. Talk to him and reinforce your Pyromancy flame with him. And learn a couple Pyromancies. And the Miracle Lady on the same half of Firelink Shrine. In this back corner over here. And same thing. She'll teach you a couple things and sell you a few items or a couple miracles. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll have some separate videos for the other merchants that you can find because they're in completely different parts of the game. 
Uh, there's uh, a sorcery guy you can rescue. There's a second pyromancer guy and some quest lines for some other NPCs to rescue. So anyway, thanks for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Dark Souls 3 updates and uh, game on.